welcome to the new life event. My name is Shauna Siegel. I'm the CEO of One Choice for Your Store, host of Ecom Experts on Webmaster Radio, which, by the way, we are continuing the party tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so make sure you're there. Actually, we're doing live site reviews tomorrow night, so that's going to, I love doing live site reviews, um, so that's going to be a lot of fun, and you know I love education, I love education, so let's get going more with the new life event. Special thank you, please make sure you say thank you to our speakers, they are providing us such wonderful, wonderful education, but thank you to you guys, there's so many new faces that are joining us today, and it's all because, you know, you went out there and you told somebody, and they told somebody, and they told somebody, and they told somebody, and, told somebody. and it's all about giving back. Back. and it's all about sharing the word and you guys are doing such an amazing job please don't give up on me let's keep doing it the more we spread the word the more we're going to be able to help people with the new life event book club with the new life event mastermind club all of this is going to help more people grow their business so I need your help we got to market this we got to reach out to those people we have to reach out to those people that have no idea what they're doing and they were going to give up their business until they found the new life event that's who we're trying to find. So get out there and find them because they're out there. And we want to get you some prizes for helping share the world word. And we got our huge grand prize tonight. And plus, you're a winner just by being here. You're getting all this amazing education so you are a winner just by being here if you want more uh, more information on how to win all the fun prizes because it is very fun uh, go to twitter-winner.com it's got all the information you need um, I wish we could do this kind of stuff on Facebook but if you go look at their guidelines which I have posted a link to under twitter-winner it's like wow really I don't want to get in trouble and have them shut me down um, you know, Twitter basically says have fun, don't spam. Thank you. We'll use you. Um, and then you can use this hashtag. You can come in. You can talk. You can ask questions. And that's what happens when you join in with other professionals. You get this great advice. Great, great advice. And I love what's happening in our Twitter chat room. Upcoming schedule. Some really great stuff coming up too. Reinventing the small business. Linking strategy. Marketing with YouTube. Social media advertising. Basics of SEO and social commerce with Colder Ice himself. So good, good night of education. If you have questions at New Life Event or ask questions on the right-hand side of your screen. I'm going to go ahead and pass on the controls over to Cindy. And Cindy, if you could, could you tell people a little bit about why we all love you? Because we do love you. Well, uh, thank you. I'm glad you all love me. I am. Um, <laughs> I am a eBay education specialist and certified business consultant, and I, uh, you know, do a little of this and a little of that. And I have a website that is about training and learning more about your online business at uh, www.websellercircle.com. And this is just another woman that is out there, or another speaker, another educator, another expert out there that has great information to share, and she's out there sharing it, and that's what we love. So thank you for being here, and I will mute myself and let you take over. Okay. I'm going to close this pane, so if we have questions going forward, uh, Shauna's going to watch for us. All right. So... Uh, we're going to talk today uh, about Blackthorn, but I wanted to start out with a little story uh, about Blackthorn and sort of how I got introduced to it. Uh, last year, uh, I was privileged enough to be invited by eBay to uh, go to be a panelist on all four of their eBay on location events. And the first one was in Atlanta. And in Atlanta, while I was networking, I I sure got a lot of questions about Blackthorn. Was I using it? Would I recommend it? Was it easy to use? What was it? All sorts of questions about Blackthorn. And I have to be honest with you, I have had the Blackthorn tool on my desktop for several years now, and I've opened it, but I've never really embraced it or really spent much time learning about it. So one thing led to another, and we got to um, we made it to Dallas, and I was up on stage, and they were asking us panelists what 
tools we used for our businesses. And I mentioned while I was up there that I was sure interested in Blackthorn and knowing more about Blackthorn. And it was funny because the, the manager of the Blackthorn team from eBay was there, Zofa um, Murray. I, I apologize if I've uh, mispronounced her name, was there. And as soon as I got off of the stage, she came running up to me and grabbed me and sort of sequestered me in a room and showed me Blackthorn from A to Z. And I was so impressed about the different uh, features and all of the management tools for an eBay seller that I went home and started using it. So I've been using it now for about six months and I'm totally sold. I really love the tool. It's really helping automate and streamline a lot of my uh, uh, business practices when it comes to listing on eBay. So that's what we're going to talk about in this section today. We're going to talk about uh, Blackthorn specifically why you might want to use Blackthorn, some of the features of Blackthorn, and there's two different levels of Blackthorn. There's Blackthorn Basic and Blackthorn Pro. So we're going to talk about those two and the costs that are associated. And finally, what we're going to do is a live demo. I'm going to pull up my Blackthorn and show you um, some of the, the features live as well as we're going to list a couple of things so you can kind of see how the whole flow works. So that's what my goal is for this presentation. So let's start off with what Blackthorn is. It is a desktop management tool. So it's not online. It, is, it resides it's on your desktop and it helps you manage your listings before and after the sale. So it uh, helps you create those listings and it helps you with the follow-up of the listings including feedback and the like. So that's essentially what it is. Now we know that if you've spent any time on eBay, you know that there are several options for listing your item. There's the sell your item form and to be honest with you, I know uh, several sellers, or more, I should say at least more than one seller who has thousands of listings in their eBay store and they're still using the sell your item form. They're perfectly happy with it. But most people, as soon as they filled out that form a few times, start looking for automation tools. And one of the first ones that people look at is the free one offered by eBay, the Turbo Lister. And now there are also some third-party uh, listing tools available as well, Octiva and Infrog and Vendio and a few more. So there are other options as well as just the eBay uh, uh, option for listing. And then there's Blackthorn. What I'm going to talk about in the next slide specifically is about what the difference is between the two eBay tools, the Blackthorn and Turbo Lister tools. So let me uh, grab my piece of paper here because I wanted to read to you what eBay says the difference is. It's a nice clean description, so here we go. Turbo Lister is a free tool that allows you to list items in bulk, but it doesn't offer you ways to manage your sales in bulk. Blackthorn goes beyond bulk listing and offers you sales management features such as tracking the status of your sales, sending emails in bulk, leaving feedback in bulk, and more. So essentially what Blackthorn has over the lister is Turbo Lister is simply a listing tool and Blackthorn does some of those back end um, after the, after the sale sort of things as well as the listing tool and automating that. So that's the big difference between the free turbo lister and Blackthorn. Specifically when we're talking about those sales management features besides the listing tools, what Blackthorn is offering is tracking status of sales. So while the, the item is uh, active, you can track its, you know, how many people are watching it so instead of having to go into the My eBay area all the time. You can see if people are watching it, how many people have 
purchased it if you have more than one of them available. You can send bulk emails to customers. It's kind of nice. And if you don't have uh, a premium subscription or an anchor store with eBay, you can leave feedback in bulk through Blackthorn instead of having to go into that clunky My eBay area and leaving that feedback one at a time. And to me, having feedback automated is uh, worth its weight in gold, no matter what, uh, what service you use. Um, there's also bulk editing of the listings. Now, this is nice because uh, I know that inside of eBay, they have the My eBay area, they do have bulk editing options. I found that they are kind of clunky. They aren't as smooth as, or, and intuitive as I'd like them to be. Blackthorn is really clean and it's very simple. So you can edit live listings and future listings and that includes template designs. So let's say you're, um, you've got a, a lot of items active right now and during these, uh, the springtime you want to spruce up your listings, maybe do a little spring uh, cleaning or maybe a spring theme for your listings, you can go in and edit the, the HTML template and re, you know, and upload or um, have Blackthorn um, automate that, that, uh, that change of your listing template with just a one-click mouse click, essentially. So it's really nice. You can do your active listings right from the Blackthorn tool, the automation. Also, Blackthorn uh, is available for Canada, UK, and Australia, so you can do some of the international uh, sites as well. I also like the fact that you can manage multiple user accounts. Now, if you have more than one eBay account, you know how painstaking it is to log out of one account and log into another account to answer an email if you're in the middle of something, or uh, get in there and, and leave those feedbacks or even ch bulk change uh, listings. If you've got more than one account, there's just a whole lot of juggling you have to do. But Blackthorn allows you to manage those accounts from one desktop application. If you're a, uh, a trading assistant, you may have uh, some issues with trying to track all that uh, consignment work. Uh, Blackthorn does offer a consignment tracking tool. Now, I have to be honest with you, I am not a uh, consignment seller, so I haven't used it very much, but it does look very robust and it's a great way to keep track of all that. And there's also a P&L statement that you can get from Blackthorn. So if you've got an employee or multiple users using your Blackthorn account, you can actually set up access levels. Maybe you just want that person to be able to list, but you don't necessarily want them to have access to your suppliers or to know the bottom line, the, the uh, profit and loss statement. So you can set up different access levels on your Blackthorn software as well. That's kind of nice. So before we go any farther, I thought I'd uh, break the bad news to you if you have a Mac. As far as I know, it's all Windows all the time. It does not support 98, so you have to have a fairly, uh, well, I'd say you have to have a contemporary, not even a fairly new, but you do have to have Windows XP, 2000, Vista, or, or Windows 7 to operate Blackthorn. I am not a Mac user, so I don't know if there's anything comparable out there. If you are a Mac user, I would certainly get in touch with eBay if you're interested in this kind of software and see what they can do for you. If they know there's interest, I'm sure they would, uh, you know, start the ball rolling. So you know, let them know. So there are two subscription levels to Blackthorn. Both of them have a free 30-day trial subscription. So you can try it, and if you don't like it, you can turn it off, or if you do like it, uh, continue on. Now, of course, there's two different prices for the basic versus the pro. The basic is 10 bucks a month. The pro is $25 a month. Now, eBay says that, uh, you know, basic is good for somebody who sells 25 to 100 items a month. 
and high volume sellers over 100 should look at uh, the pro subscription. Now I'll be honest with you, I'll be honest with you, excuse me. I have the pro subscription level and I think it's worth the upgrade. I'm not what I would call a super high volume seller. I don't have thousands and thousands of listings going at once. Um, but I do find that the automation uh, tools and the, the tracking and the additional features are well worth it for the extra uh, $15 a month. So it's, it's $10 a month or $9.99 and Pro is $24.99 a month. So let's take a look at the two different levels and see, uh, compare them side by side. Now I, up here on the screen I do have a chart and if you're watching live, it might be hard to read this chart, or if you're watching the replay, I know the replay screen is probably going to be pretty small, so if you can't see it, I do have a link to um, a better visual for you at the Web Seller Circle. So if you want to go over to the Web Seller Circle, the link is www.websellercircle.com forward slash public forward slash 441.cfm. Again, www.websellercircle.com forward slash public forward slash 441.cfm. The URL is up here at the top of the screen if you didn't catch it. And you know, while you're over at the Web Seller Circle, if you haven't, I would really love it if you would uh, hit uh, the subscribe button and get our daily our weekly tips. We have a tip of the week. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the two different subscription levels uh, available on Blackthorn. We have for both the basic and the pro, you do have that listing in bulk capability. You also can get professionally formatted templates or HTML templates to use. So you hire a designer and you put the, the code, the HTML code into a template and then when you are listing, you only have to type in the specifics about that that particular item instead of having to worry about going into that HTML all the time and putting the right uh, typing the in the right place. I know that that's been kind of a, a barrier to a lot of people who are using who who want to spruce up template, but they don't know much about HTML. So it's very easy to hire a designer, get a template, and just set it up, and then you don't have to worry about it because Blackthorn will automatically add that to your listing. Uh, they both track sales status. They both uh, subscription levels offer emailing in bulk and um, the use of uh, our integration with the Microsoft Access database. Where we get a little bit um, different for the pro, some of the upgrade features you get is printing shipping labels in bulk, um, inventory management, that profit and loss reports that I was talking about. Blackthorn Pro um, will show you, uh, you know, line item, how much did it cost for your listing fee, how much did it cost in PayPal fees and, and eBay final values. That stuff is imported into a statement on Blackthorn that I'll show you when we get online here. There's also, if you're thinking about using it for the consignment feature, uh, if you're a trading assistant, then you'll have, to, you, you'll have to subscribe to the pro feature. And the other thing that's kind of nice is if you schedule, uh, especially auctions, you may have uh, a routine where you have time to set up that auction on one day, but you prefer to to list it live on another day. You you um, set up those future listings. You know that on eBay that's ten cents to do that. But if you have Blackthorn Blackthorn Pro, uh, you will have that fee waived, so it's a little free spiff. So again, uh, oh, and also on the pro, you get that multiple user ac uh, administration or access level. So again, the difference between the prices is the Blackthorn. Blackthorn, I can say it. Blackthorn Basic is $9.99, and the Blackthorn Pro is $24.99 a month. 
So enough of talking about what it is. Let's go ahead and pull up my Blackthorn and let you take a look at um, an active uh, Blackthorn uh, selling uh, tool. Okay, so here is my Blackthorn. Um, I've been using it for a while, and uh, here you can see it's set up like a lot of um, Windows-based software or software. We've got our, our commands across the top, our command menus, and these are all drop-down menus. Um, where we can do our different commands. We also have tabs. And as we get into you know, the, the web 3.0, everything is getting to be tabs. So you know, it, it's sort of a, a typical look. There's tabs across the top with different functions. So if you notice, we've got some tabs up here. Um, we've also got some tabs down here. So whenever you see a tab, you can click on it and you know there's more functionality underneath that tab. Now I'm going to come back to the Create Items tab because I want to actually show you a listing. But let's look at some of the functions under some of these other tabs. I'm going to start with Monitoring Listings. So these are the listings that I have active. And this one that's highlighted, Here's the information about that listing. It's, it's brought in from eBay. So I know that this, uh, this eBay store ter ter tune up. Um, I have three listed, uh, fixed price. Here's the insertion fee. It was a good tell canceled listing. Uh, the number of watchers was uh, one. The hit counter was 94. I sold two of them, and the last person who I sold it to. So all of this information is right at my fingertip. Here's another one, a little, uh, a little yellow bowl that I sold on auction. Uh, uh, you can see that I started it out at 798, how many people uh, saw it, how many people bid on it, who bought it. So I get, I get it at a glance, all this information. And I like this because now I don't have to go online all the time and try to sort through all that stuff and see it in my eBay. It's all right here and it's act, on active listings as well as completed listings. Now we, I'm going to bring uh, my mouse back up here to the top and we're going to go to finalize sales. And this is where we have our completed listings. And it walks you through just like your My eBay area. Of course, we've got a drop down menu so we can change the sort order to whatever we need to. So if we have to go find something 30 or, or 60 or 90 days in the, in the back, you know, maybe we need to look up a tracking number, we can sort by using this drop down menu. Now, the one I have highlighted here, here's the information. And we were talking about uh, you know, where we need to go. Um, the feedback uh, isn't checked, so it looks like I may need to, to leave feedback. I have shipped it. Here are the sales and the total costs, so I can see my profit. Um, here is the breakdown of the information. You can see I actually didn't put in the cost of the item, but if I had put in the cost of the item, it would show me the calculation. Now, I don't know if it's very easy for you to read because it is grayed out but, and it is fairly faint, but you can see the, the information or your profit and loss here. You can also find your tracking number. I use stamps.com for my shipping tool. I don't actually use Blackthorn because I'm a multi-channel seller. But Blackthorn has gone out and uh, gathered that information from the eBay area and brought it in. Uh, and so I have my tracking number at a glance. So if somebody has a question, my buyer has a question about this, this tin, it, I you know, where's the, where's the tracking number or, or how's it, you know, where's it, is it lost in, in space or is it lost in shipping? Here's the tracking number I can find uh, right at a glance. I can, uh, here we're going back up to the top and we can see all my buyers. Here's 
the uh, area where I can uh, get more information about my buyers, including my e email addresses, my buyers, uh, shipping addresses, and the like. So it's brought in all in one place, so I don't have to try to keep this in a separate um, folder, or maybe in my, in, in my inbox, or however you keep it. It's all brought in automatically for you into the selling manager, or excuse me, the Blackthorn tool. And this is kind of a nice feature. Now, I haven't had time to go in here and update it all, but it's one of my goals for this year is to get all of my uh, suppliers set up in here. But you, it's just like a, um, you can set up as much information as you want or as little information as you want. Uh, um, you know, name and address, that sort of stuff. Um, and you can break it down into different categories as well, How, however you want and however it works for your business the best. And then we have uh, the consignment module. Now, the consignment module on mine, again, and is blank, but this is where you would put in your information about who's consigned what or who the consignee is and who the consigner is and track that information. So that's uh, the tabs across the top. As I was going across the tabs, I hope you noticed um, the functions were changing along the top here. Um, and this uh, tree was changing as well. So each view gives you different functions or different um, items that you can click on. Now notice as well that as I scroll over each one of these different functions, down here is a, a little quick tips or a little fact about that different function. So as you're getting used to using Blackthorn, you can quickly look down here and say, oh, that's what that is. Notice that there's also a, an area where you can change from one seller to the next with a drop-down menu. So if I don't want to sell with Clo Clover City, I don't want to set this listing up, I can quickly change it to uh, my other seller account just by uh, clicking this drop-down menu. Or I can add new accounts. So I can choose what, um, what account I want to set up. Now there's always more than one way to do something uh, with an eBay application or just generally on the internet, as we all know. So um, do know that there's uh, drop-down menus up here and you can access a lot of these functions by using these drop-down menus or you can use the edit buttons next to the various uh, uh, commands. Now for the add template, this is the one I want to show you really quickly. If you click on edit, this is where you would set up your HTML template or your template that you wanted um, or the look you wanted for your listings. Now here is my template. It's actually an HTML template, but it's just a super simple, very basic template. And the reason why I have done that is because of uh, um, looking at it on my uh, on my phone, I've noticed that as we go mobile, some of these real elaborate, uh, super super fancy uh, templates inside of eBay are kind of big, and they're not quite working as well as I, visually as they could. And you know, most buyers when they go to read the description, mostly what they want to know is the item. They want to see the description. So I decided to not let my template get in the way of the description and keep it very simple. But that is just my personal preference. It, yours may be different. And again, I may decide that I want to spruce it up for spring or even uh, as we get into the holiday season, maybe I want to add a little a banner to all of my listings, active and future listings that say, hey, we're having a great uh, Christmas sale, buy one, get one free, or something like that. And I can do that very, very simply by uh, going into this HTML view and changing the HTML if I want to. Now, you also notice that we've got options. We can fill out these different fields as well. So if you have a specific thing that you say about shipping, a shipping message, you can type it out, set it up once, and it will be populated into all of your listings. Now, you don't need to know HTML. If you don't want to hire somebody, do know that you can do some sprucing up of these texts in this, um, this description and set up this 
template by using these different functions up here, just like you would a Word editor. And when you're done, you would just click OK. And when you click OK, it will ask you, do you want to update all of your active live listings? And if you say yes, of course, it will go right out and do that for you. And I'm not ready to do that right now, so I'm going to click Cancel. But I just wanted to show you uh, quickly the Add Template um, Studio. Now you can also set up functions that you do regularly, like shipping. I do a lot of books, so I have a set up for media mail, a flat $2.95 for media mail. So when I get to my books, I know that's the one. Others I do free shipping for, or here's my calculated. So I have a number of different shipping options set up that I can just choose in a Jiffy as I'm going through this different listing uh, template and just choose it from the drop-down menu. And again, if I wanted to add a new one or change one of the existing ones, I could just click on Edit. Same with my payment terms. You know, there isn't a whole lot you can do with payments. Mostly eBay says PayPal now, but, you know, I do some stuff for charity whenever I can, so I have a couple presets for my charities, so I don't have to go digging through the different things that I want to contribute to. So it makes the template really quick and easy to use. Now, here from the new item, I've got a new item already set up, but if I wanted to, I would just click on the new item and it would show me this, uh, this pane here. And notice that I could also do, if I have let's say I do a lot of the same kind of books and there's just maybe a word or two that I change in my description, I could set up this whole template, like all the shipping, um, all the actions, let's say it's all going to be fixed price, good tell canceled at $4.98, I could set all that up as a, an item template and maybe only have to come in and change the title and the description, a couple of words, and just, you know, bang, 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 and, and shoot them out really quickly. I can also, once I do set up a listing, I use this, uh, this feature a lot, is duplicate. So if I have a lot of similar items, like I was doing bags not very long ago, where they were all pretty much the same bag, but they had different, uh, different little designs and different colors on them. So I duplicated the listing, just changed the color word on the title and change the picture of each one of them and just uh, listed them out really quickly so it saved me time. And you notice also as I'm doing this I can also set up my inventory on the fly by clicking on this tab here. So as I'm listing it, maybe I got uh, this product from um, this supplier and I, I want to put that into my inventory. So I can just click on this tab, I can put in the cost, and if I put in the cost, remember that's going to give me that information on my P&L statement. I can also set up the date I, I acquired it so I can track how long it's been listed for if I want to pull it down after three months or three years or however. Um, you know, however you or are um, comfortable with. We can do inventory as well if you've got multiple inventory, and it will also show you that you're running out of inventory if you need to reorder. You can set that up as well. And if you have a storage location, now maybe you have a bin that it goes into or uh, a shelf or even a specific warehouse that it's going to be housed in after, after it's listed. You can put that storage location information here. Any other notes? There's a, you know, different status and, and custom fields that you can set up and have there that are available for you. So I know I'm talking really fast. I'm trying to show you all this great stuff inside of uh, Blackthorn, but I'm going to take a, a deep breath here and now I'm going to actually show you uh, a listing. I'm going to actually show you two listings so you can kind of get uh, a, a see it more than once. I'm going to do two different books and two different styles. So. Here we go. First book is a, a Hallmark book. So I'm going to start typing in the title. It's called uh, Rosie's uh, Market Price Guide for Hallmark 
ornaments. I have six characters left, so I think I'll put it in book. I'm going to, of course, I could put in some part numbers or uh, contract if I had a contract or you were doing consignment selling. I'm going to grab the pictures here. I have two pictures, so. Now, I didn't want you to have to watch me. Um, of course, I can edit the pictures, but I didn't want you to have to watch me sit in here and type this uh, description. So I actually typed it up earlier, and I'm just going to copy and paste it. You all know how to type into a description field. Now, I'm going to paste it in, and, and if I want to preview it, see it with my uh, my template around it, there it is. So I can see if I uh, need to put any spaces in or breaks or the like, and, and it looks like it do. Yeah, so. And it looks like I've misspelled something. And uh, put some spaces between the pages and the size. Now I can grab my uh, category by clicking Select. And I can go to books, and it's a nonfiction book, and click OK. And of course, just like on the Sell Your Item form, we've got our favorites and search and tabs as well. And click OK. Now, I do want to say that if you have uh, categories that you list in a lot, you can set them up as defaults. And I've got a few of them set up as defaults, and I do a lot of books. Item uh, specifics. I can come in here and click on the specifics if there are specifics. And we're going to say it's good, it's other, it's um, books on collecting, it's English, it's illustrated. Uh, you get the idea. And um, I'm going to say it's good again. And here, of course, you can do a second category if you want. And here's my store categories. I can uh, put it in. Nonfiction. This one I'm going to do a format of fixed price. I'm going to do good till canceled, and I'm going to offer it at nine ninety eight. Not going to um, do best offer on this, but I could by clicking on that. My shipping. Uh, again, I do a lot of books, so I have this field set up for two ninety five. If I was doing dimensional weight shipping, I could put the information in here. My destination, I have a preset that I'm only going to set, ship this to the U.S. And then my preset is that I'm going to do standard non-charity. And that's it. I'm ready to go. I hit submit. And do know that I can set up a schedule if I wanted to, or I could submit to eBay immediately. Um, and click OK. And my internet connection is a little slow, so it's going to take a little bit longer than I was hoping for. But we're going to, as soon as we get this one listed. I bet your mind's slower at home. What's that? I said, I bet your mind's slower at home. I, I moved to the boonies of Michigan, you know, and I, we moved to 15 acres, and uh -huh. they didn't have cable, mm -hmm. and they didn't have, um, they didn't have, oh, what's the phone line one? Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They didn't have that. So modem? They didn't. They, they, DSL or modem? Or DSL. They didn't have DSL. So then I got a satellite. Oh, my. Yeah, and then I had to upgrade to the professional version for $400 a month, and they have a cap of how much you can use per day. Oh, no. Yeah, and I ran out of that in two hours, and then they shut me off. <laughs> and then I had to get uh -oh. my very own T1 line for $485 a month. So I have to pay $485 for slow internet at my house. So really? you're going fine. <laughs> okay, I, w I won't complain anymore then. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'll go back to mute. <laughs> all right. Now watch this. I love this one. Um, here's the new item. I'm going to click on new item. And 
I say watch this, and I'm probably jinxing myself, but I have a book here that is in the eBay catalog, and if you sell on eBay, you know that some um, items are already in the catalog, so I'm going to come right on down to here to select nonfiction, which is one of my uh, setups. I'm going to click on this link here that says catalog, and it's, it's pulling in from eBay. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so hopefully you can see it. I'm going to put in the ISBN number, and that's the, the 10 digit number on the back of the book above the barcode. And click search. And here's all the, uh, all the information that, that I could ever want about that listing. Now, uh, condition, it's uh, very good. I want to use the catalog as a title. I'm going to use the uh, stock photo that's provided, any inf additional information, which is usually reviews. And I want to use the stock photo as the gallery image. I'm going to click Save. Um, I'm going to say very good here. I'm going to put it in my non fiction category. And again, these, uh, these categories are the ones that I've set up for my store uh, online. Uh, fixed price. I am going to sell it at 249. I have two of them to list. I'm going to do 295. U.S. shipping only. Uh, standard no no charity, and it's gone. I have, you know famous last words. <laughs> there we go, it's gone. It's so I got my uh, pre-filled information in and I'm ready to roll. So that's uh, kind of a, a nutshell tour of uh, Blackthorn and I hope you kind of get or see why I'm so excited about it and um, why it's become my, my uh, listing tool of choice. So let me pull back up my, um, my PowerPoint slideshow here. If you're interested in, you know, your own free trial and playing around with it. Here is the link. Uh, it is kind of long and to be honest with you, if you're on this call live or if you're looking at this at the recording, you know, just go do a Google search. Uh, free trial subscription of Blackthorn or eBay Blackthorn it will get you there a lot quicker than trying to type in this in your browser bar. But I did uh, want to put it up there for those of you who like typing. You can find out more information about the Blackthorn to a number of places on eBay. There's a, a, a help fact at you know, eBay, pages.ebay, help sell Blackthorn. Again, do a Google search, it's a lot easier. There's a discussion board. Now, this is an eBay discussion board, so I you know, will say not always the best place for information because you know, there's a lot of inf misinformation on the eBay boards. But there is a woman, Sally Milo, who is a Blackthorn expert. And she does look at the boards fairly, re fairly frequently, and I would definitely uh, be glad to take any advice from Sally because she knows her Blackthorn tool, I'll tell you. Now, there's also a forum where you, you set up a user ID and a password. It's free, but just having that user ID and password sort of, you know, slows down a lot of the, the, the sidewalk pilots who are just um, talking on eBay. The, the uh, forum is um, monitored or read occasionally by the Blackthorn team and by users who use Blackthorn fairly um, regularly. So you're going to get more uh, concise answers probably on that forum. So it's at Blackthorn uh, sw.com CGI bin forward slash discuss forward slash discuss CGI. Not an easy one to remember. Again, you know, Pull up the Google or the Bing or whatever one you prefer to use, and you can find that information. So at this point, I want to say, uh, Shauna, we, we're going to do a Twitter winner.
Hello. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And the last one I saw was Woody's Diecast. And I'm so excited that that was the last one I saw uh, okay. on there. And um, actually, it was right. right it was actually um, your the, the Twitter account for the Web Seller Circle. So I had to go right below that one, actually. Uh, <laughs> so oh, that's, um, that's great. Yeah, because Woody's Diecast has been asking so many wonderful, wonderful questions and saying that so many of their competitors are selling on eBay. And it's like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I should be doing more there and having so many eBay related questions. So I'm really mm -hmm. glad that, that Woody's Diecast is going to be able to get this subscription and be around other people that can really help with those eBay questions um, and, right. and, and really help to grow that side of their business. And I think that that's absolutely wonderful. So congratulations. That is right. awesome, 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 awesome. So thank you so much for a wonderful giveaway. Yes, and uh, I look forward to, to having Woody's die, die cast on our site. You know, and, and I want to say really quickly about that, you know, um, I, I've been to Amazon conferences and, you know, people at Amazon say, you know, what is that with that eBay? Um, maybe we should be selling there. And I, I have found, because I am a multi-channel seller, that, you know, there, there's perfect lines for different, different um, venues. So things that might not sell on Amazon certainly sell on eBay or vice versa. So it, it you know, it, and of course, you know, you know, Shauna, we need to have our own website. So, you know, doing that triangle of having or, you know, multi-channel selling is really one of the best and most effective strategies we can have, you know, as small business people. Yes, and the triangle and the lady with the triangle, Kathy Simpson is going to get me with that so we can get her a <laughs> webinar and we can get her on the radio show and talk about the triangle because it's so very important and we need more people to see that and understand that and learn it and I love it. I absolutely love it. So there's lots, Joyce, thank you, Joyce Bansberry, she's always like right on that. You know what? It depends, okay? Just, <laughs> yes. It depends. I'm just going to say that right now, lady. So uh, <laughs> there's lots and lots of questions. Um, I don't know if you can update your slide real quick, but just to add maybe your Twitter handles on there. Yeah, oh, your other Twitter, ha Twitter handle on there as well. Um, well, uh, WSCCIRCLE is where we really, really want you okay. to visit. Um, uh, I do have another Twitter handle. It's Clover City. But um, we really would love you um, if you would, you know, join us on Twitter at the Web Seller Circle. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And I, and at first I was like, wait, is that there? Yes. Okay. My eyes are getting like, woohoo. All right. So let's get into some of the questions. I know you guys have a lot. So um, and there's all kinds of questions about um, can this. I'm going to say it depends a lot. <laughs> I you probably are and. And it really sounds like, um, can you use Blackthorn to design, now some of this I'm sure you've already answered, but we want to make sure a couple of these we got a couple of times. So can you use Blackthorn to design listings? Yeah, I, you know, I was talking pretty fast, so. It's okay. We recorded everything. So you design listings and create QuickBooks feeds. If so, would you call Blackthorn Turbo, List, Turbo Lister on steroids? Yeah, I would definitely call um, Blackthorn Turbo Lister on steroids. Um, not only do you have that super listing tool, but you also have that sales management tool. So, uh, you know, profit and loss statements at a glance, you know, um, you can send out emails, you know, bulk emails, um, you can print shipping labels, all from this one desktop application. So it's not just, again, it's not just that listing tool. That's what I showed you today, but there is so much more to it. And, um, it, it, you know, when you get to the next level of selling or you want to take yourself to the next selling, selling level, definitely consider this Blackthorn. Mm, love it. I sound like a salesperson, you know, <laughs> but I, I, I'm not getting any money for it or anything at stake. I just, I, I'm really um, pleased with it. It's really, um, it, some of the things that have been really clunky and, and to deal with on eBay uh, are streamlined through this tool, and it keeps getting better. Mm, but it's such great information, though. It really is. Um, Tim wants to know, does this only work on eBay, or can you use this on, on any of the other platforms? 
Unfortunately, it is just an eBay tool. So if, you, if you're looking for multi-channel, multi-platform selling, you're going to have to look at some of the other um, uh, um, uh, tools that are out there. Um, this one is specifically designed for, flat, for uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. And can you inset pictures into the description field? Uh, yes, you most certainly can. Um, it is, you know, a little bit of code, HTML code, you know, you know, you put in that uh, HTML image circ tag and uh, away you go. Yeah, and can you upload a CSV file? Yes. Nice, nice. And Hugo really wants to know, can you revise active live listings using Blackthorn? Yes, 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 yes. That's what I love about it. <laughs> <laughs> she got excited uh, about that. Love it. <laughs> you, you don't know. Um, Shana, I don't know if you, you know, I know you're, um, you, you're, you, I don't know how much selling you've done on eBay, but eBay over the last few years really changed this site. And the sellers, especially sellers who have lots and lots of listings, have been required to change things in the description field, change terms of service. And it, it, there wasn't a lot of tools that were available to do live listings. Uh -huh. So in a lot of cases, you had to pull these listings down and relist them. And the process is so, you know, clunky. I can't think of a better word. And even when they did get some online editing tools to do the active listings, I don't think they were as uh, intuitive as they could have been. So that's why, you know, Blackthorn, with a quick click of an edit button, it, it sends it out and it updates these listings live as well as future listings. You know what's, what's really interesting is that if you listen to a lot of the eBay sellers who help to build eBay, um, it, it feels like they're constantly talking and it feels like, um, they're not being heard, and it feels like they're very frustrated. Uh, and, and I want you to re I want you to the, to think about them doing that and how you feel, and apply that to your customer service because mm -hmm. you feel that way. That's how your customers are feeling. You know, like like I'm not being listened to. I'm not I'm not being heard. And when we're mm -hmm. talking about all these connections, it's like we keep talking about that like, no trust, and connections. You know what I mean? And you just made me remind right. of that. It's like you're talking about how they've changed it so much and made it difficult. It's like they should make your life so much easier so you'll sell more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's eBay's been in transition and. Um, I would be lying if I didn't say I was frustrated at times, but I, you know we're looking for that silver lining, and, and it is getting better. And um, you know the trust, especially around the trust and, and safety issues. Um, so you know, um, uh, and it, you're right about thinking about your customers. If if we're a little bit frustrated, you know. For one thing, don't take it out in our, on your customers. Uh, you know, listen to what they have to say and, and uh, put your, walk a mile in their shoes, I guess, or we're forced to or something. Yeah, yeah, you really have to. And, and I mean, sometimes you, you have to just remember where they're coming from. I mean, sometimes you realize that they're, you're like, God, why are they acting like this? And then you, you realize and you get to know them a little bit and talk to them a little bit and you find out that maybe this was something that they've been looking for for forever and they had to get it by a certain time and it meant so much to them and you know I mean it's like oh that's why you were freaking out you know I mean <laughs> little things like that but anyway Sharon yeah. says hi Cindy it's Sharon Ware hope you know who hey, that is Sharon yeah you yes. do. okay um, <laughs> one thing I love about BT Pro is that you can import hundreds of listings from a spreadsheet in bulk absolutely and Sharon is the the CSV and bulk listing um, Queen, she knows how to do that. So if you ever have questions about that or need help, Sharon Ware uh, at Dandelion Consulting is the person to talk to when it comes to doing that for um, flat files on eBay. Oh, Sharon, get in touch with me. We need to talk. We need to talk and 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 talk about CSV files and all of that good stuff. And you need to get in touch with me so we can do some education. I love that you introduced us. Thank you. That's what this is all about, <laughs> introducing, meeting new people that you wouldn't meet before, people. All right. So the other thing is that I love is 
um, when, you, when you're telling me that you can import hundreds of listings is that if you're a Yahoo store owner, I don't know if you know this, but go into your store manager, go into mm -hmm. catalog manager, go into upload, and then mm -hmm. there's a little file that says download. You can download yeah. all the products from your store. So if this is where your customers are and you need to open up an eBay store, you have a CSV file ready to go to be uploaded. Now, it may not be perfect. It may need adjustments. You may need to contact, you know, our Miss Cat Depend Lady. You may need to contact WS Circle. Um, you may need to contact Sharonware. You may need to contact some of these ladies and, and gentlemen of, that you're seeing to help you convert that file. But a lot of times those conversions are quick fixes, and that's it. You upload your products. Mm -hmm. You upload your products, yeah. you know. Yeah, and well, Brenda's saying if you're a drop shipper, maintaining inventory is impossible. Well, it, it is very difficult doing it that way. So what you do is you take your best selling products and you focus on those. And that's yes. where you start out. Yeah. So, you know, um, with anything, any new venture in your business, you don't want to just, you, you want to put your toe in, test the water. So you know, start with some of those best sellings or, or the ones that you know um, your, your supplier tends to not run out of. You know, there are products that, um, you know, when you're drop shipping, there's some things that I know that my, it, it's really very unusual for my supplier to run out of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, try those things. Absolutely. 